Hello there, welcome back to this Sage Business Cloud accounting tutorial. This is where we left off in the previous video, the settings page. If you're not here, if you're on a different page, something like this, all you need to do is go to the top ribbon here and click on settings. In the previous video, we went through the business contact details, such as the business name and address and the type of business. In this video, we're going to carry on with this settings page and we're actually going to have a look at sales invoices, customizing sales invoices. Now, the first thing we're going to do is click on logo and document template, which will take us to this page here. Now, as of the day that I'm creating this video, there are three templates for product invoices and three templates for service invoices. So if your business provides um, or sells products, there are three templates you can choose from. If your business provides a service, once again, there are three templates you can choose from. So have a look through, see which one you prefer, and then select one for the sake of this tutorial, the bookkeeping master is the business and let's just say it's providing a service and I'll choose this template here, which is the graphite service template. Scrolling down, we can add a company logo. You can, you can see on the template where the logo is going to appear. So it's important to take the logo into consideration when choosing a template. So let's add the bookkeeping master logo like so okay it's already uploaded very efficient association logos can be added so i am a bookkeeper and an accountant it could be that i want to add my accounting uh, regulatory logos on the regulatory bodies for finance and accounting on my invoices i can do that here it could be that i support a charity and i want to include that on an invoice I can add that here once again. So these are association logos and you can see where they appear on each of the templates like so. You can change the color of the invoices. You might prefer something pink like this, but I'm nice and boring and very traditional. So I'll go for this gray. At one point Sage was doing lots of blue invoices. I remember lots of people were sending, sending out blue invoices and also green invoices, but I'll stick with the gray for this tutorial. You can change the font and also the font size. The best thing to do is to play around, make sure you click save and then raise an invoice and have a look. If you don't like the way it looks or if you want to edit something, come back here, change the template, change the font, whatever it is. Um, make sure you click save again and then just go back and, and have a look at that invoice. There's another setting here, invoice form settings. This is also about customizing invoices. We have headings at the top. It's not just invoices, it's all documents. Um, so we have names, you can change the names of documents. So if you prefer a sales credit note, be called a sales CN. You can do that here. You can just edit that and then that will appear on the document as sales CN. There are prefixes here for invoices. So this is for invoice numbers. If you ever need to know what a section does, there is a description below each heading. So with prefixes and numbering, it says a standard prefix and unique number for each document you create. So if I was to raise a sales invoice, it would be SI001, for example, or an estimate SE001. If you don't want these prefixes, simply delete them, and then they won't appear on any of the documents. Obviously, you'll need to delete each one individually. We have the numbering to the right here. So if you're happy for invoices to start at invoice one, the same with credit notes and estimates, then just leave that as one. If you've been raising invoices elsewhere and you need to start with invoice one, five, four, seven, for example, you can enter that there and then each invoice will appear as per entered in this box. So the next invoice will be one, five, four, seven, next one, one, five, four, eight, one, five, four, nine, etc. It's not just invoices, credit notes 
and estimates as well. If we go down, you can choose which contact details appear on documents, such as the business name, website, telephone number, mobile number, and email address. And there are other options on this page too, such as naming columns, showing the due date, and the default delivery address. As I scroll down, we have footer and terms and conditions. So if we start off with the terms and conditions, there are different terms and conditions that you can enter for the estimate, quote, delivery note, an invoice, you can enter that here. So obviously you might want different text to appear on an invoice as per a delivery note or a quote or an estimate. So that will appear here. And then we have footer details. Now footer details are great to say thank you or to include bank details. So on our footer details, we could put bank details or we could put backs preferred account one two three four five six seven eight nine sort code one two three four five six another column you may want to put international payments and have like an IBAN reference and in the center here thank you for your business this is purely an example I'm sure you can be more creative than me, but this is generally what people put at the bottom of their invoices on the details as a footer. Scrolling down further, you can enter notes on invoices and credit notes. And then there are further options at the bottom here to do with statements and EU sales descriptions. The best thing to do is come to this page and have a play around, have a look at things. Just make sure you click save, or if you are going to mess around, maybe just click cancel. But if you've made adjustments, if you've edited information, if you've added information and you want that saved, just click save, and then that will be saved on Sage for you. Like I said earlier, the best thing to do is go and raise a sales invoice, have a look, come back if you're not happy and adjust things. If you don't know how to raise a sales invoice, we'll be coming to that very shortly. So please just stick with the tutorial and I'll speak to you in the next video.